So over the last couple of years, there's been many people that's been in and out of the FIFA scene, especially within the years of FIFA 14, 15, and 16. And within these FIFAs, there was a lot more people in the community than what you may know of right now. The scene was vastly different with very different types of people, different communities, and different types of content. We're going to be going back in time and looking back at these OG YouTubers. Most have completely just dis disappeared off the map. Some that still do content to this day, and some that's just doing completely different things. I've only got a select of people for this video so if you guys do enjoy and want more of this then let's go hit 2,000 likes it helps out honestly a lot and by the way we are also very close to 280,000 subs as well so go and drop that sub button if you're new cheapest and most reliable coins on the market go down to use and buy.com link is down below in the description and make sure to use code visa at checkout for five percent off if you guys know me i love myself a nostalgia trip i've been part of the fifa scene since fifa i want to say fifa 12 but i like to call myself a fifa a fifa community um, enthusiast i don't know if that's sad or not I, I don't know. To be fair, I don't even know where, like, I stand with, like, the FIFA scene. Am I, like, am I even, like, known? I don't even know. I still consider myself, like, a niche, like, smaller guy. Anyway, let's get stuck in. Let's go. Finch. Yes, lads. Finch. Link is in the description. You definitely know a Finch. With 519,000 subscribers. He is a man that you definitely know of um, at many different stages of FIFA. His most popular era being in FIFA 16 with foot drafts. And he banged a lot of videos with running show and title and breaking draft world records and all that good stuff. You will also definitely know him if you played back in 14 for the Legend Killers team in which he made the team with the likes of Eddie Johnson with Malapa. His personality was quite like just kind of just loud and in your face but that's really what this kind of era was. It was mainly those people that's just like YO GUYS HERE WE GO! You know what I mean? It was predominantly that kind of era. So what is good old Finch doing now? Well he is a part of the entire crypto currency gang here which is uh, you're gonna see that as a familiar trend with most of these YouTubers that have gone into this crypto space. It does some court tweet for Pegasi rental. I, I, what even is this? I have absolutely no idea what this is. I'm not into crypto at all. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think that's NFTs. I, it just really confuses me. If you look at his Instagram, I mean, it's um, he's gone into the gym, hasn't he? This was back in September though, so he's not really posted in like several, several months, which is kind of strange. But to be fair, fair play to the lad. He's sorted himself out, which I mean, anyone that's done that got to give them credit. On his YouTube, there's also a link to a Minecraft server. I, 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 I don't know why there's a link to our Minecraft server, but it's called Beast Mode, so there you go. Now, one thing with Finch is that I swear a couple of weeks ago, I saw him uploading on his channel, like, videos, and it just didn't do well, uh, because it's been so long since his, his last upload. But he uploaded, like, last month, and he, I think he's deleted it, so maybe he tried it again, and he's just thought, you know what, man, I'm cool. But Finch, gym lad, crypto. There you go. Next up is our boy Matt's Plays FIFA, the Irishman, which you've definitely seen before if you were back in FIFA 14, FIFA 15 era. And this lad, he's completely gone off now the face of like YouTube in terms of actually making videos. His last upload was two years ago. Message to the loser of Jake Paul vs. Ethan Gibb. But fair play to the lad because with his money that he made from YouTube, I'm guessing that he actually used that to go and make his own gym in Ireland, which I find really cool. The one thing of YouTubers is that like, you know, you, you get so much money and whatever else, but like, you gotta make sure you, you use that in good investment. Investments. And he has used his investments in making his own gym. Like, this is a lot of equipment right here, and it's a pretty decent sized space. This is back in 2019, and this is indeed the website for his gym, which I actually like the look of, actually. The last post was a day ago, so they're still about, they're still doing their thing, and you know what, man? I actually really do enjoy that. There you go. I've actually found his Instagram, and that's what he looks like now. January 31st, and come on, look at the guy. You know what? Fair play to the guy. Out of all the lads, this for me is like one of the better stories of a lad that did his YouTube thing, made friends, got out of it with a decent amount of money and then turn that into a livelihood that he looks like he enjoys and I think this is actually really cool so fair play I don't know if Matt's ever sees this but honestly lad fair can play. Derek Rance Gaming. This is a, a more of a niche kind of guy that like, he wasn't really ever like that big, but like in terms of the FIFA scene, he was quite well known for his first rage in like FIFA wagers and pink slips. Also, he had a series that was called Russian Roulette. If you look down in his most popular, actually there's a thumbnail right there, the Wild 500k packs. That was actually a thumbnail that I made. I made that thumbnail for him um, seven years ago. I was like a graphic designer for like a bunch of these guys and he was one of them and I actually made that thumbnail no for him. But yeah, these are his popular uploads, and you can see that he's never got that many insane views, but he was like a guy that you just kind of knew in the scene. The issue with Derek is that he did a video because he wore a mask. That was like his, his thing, that like he wore a mask, basically, and that's what his mask was. And the second that he did a video, 
basically revealing what he actually looked like. Just a normal Irish guy. I think from this moment, his channel just kind of went like, it started making the decline because really the novelty of a guy in a mask, of course, went away. So it then just turned into a people I presume to start coming back. And to find out what's happening now, I've actually found his Twitter called Matty C Edits, in which he's an editor for a company called Wild Vision. I don't know what Wild Vision is, but that's his job now as a video editor. And look at his face. He looks like he's happy with himself. Actually, a tweet from 16 hours ago saying DRG videos are going to be worth a fortune with the NFT space. Nothing too insane. He's just a normal block in Ireland, really. And here we go. This one's interesting. So this is um, Paris, but goes by the name of, you would probably know as FIFA Monster. You should definitely know him from this song which he made back in FIFA 15 called Playing FIFA. I actually remember where I was when I first saw this song. I was actually working at McDonald's at the time and I finished my shift at like 11 at night and I was waiting for the taxi, which I, I booked to take me back home. And I remember just being in my phone listening to the song for the first time. For me, it's fair to say that FIFA Monster was quite a big guy in the scene. So it's so weird to see like what's happened to him because he kind of just disappeared by like FIFA 17. If if we look at his channel right now, you can see that he's now making music, but looking at the views of it, it's not doing as well as I thought it would. He did a video about 11 months ago saying, where have I been, which I actually watched, like, 11 months ago. But yeah, just going down, he's just made music upon music. He's made a ton of music. Like, this. it's literally just all audio, pretty much. His last, like, FIFA Monster video was, like, three years ago, and when it was the entire KSI Joe Weller boxing fight. And looking at his Instagram with 22.5k followers, he's actually shown his Spotify 88.3k streams. He's not doing bad for himself, really. And looking at this, he's still trying to put himself out there. In terms of Spotify, by numbers, he's got a, a decent banger with Maya Jammo of... 140,000 streams. I remember watching him back in the day and I never thought this guy was like a bad blow. I do kind of hope that he gets his big blow because I remember like back in the day people like were saying that he's like the B-Tech KSI. I remember that was like a thing that like similar kind of style into music and he made similar types of videos on YouTube and people always saw that link. So I hope that one day he gets that chance. Gujon Daniel. You 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 know Gujon Daniel. If you don't know Gujon Daniel then I don't know why you're even here. If you do not know Gujon Daniel and you're watching this video then I I, you, you, I don't know why you're here bro. The last video from Gujon Daniel was back uh, a year ago for a charity stream, he actually made a video about his Twitch.tv saying JD is back. His last like FIFA videos back in FIFA 18, he did a Fortnite forfeit, and he's actually a father now, back three years ago, which is kind of cute. Going over on his Twitch, it's only one video on there, which is a clip, so I don't know if he actually streams often now. Gujon Daniel is well known for his beef or like kind of drama with KSI. Of course, they were very good friends back in the day, and you, if you were growing up playing FIFA, watching FIFA, and you know KSI. And Gucci and I know the history between us two. His Instagram is on private, but his Twitter that he actually follows me on. He's now a police officer. That's his job now. He's a police officer. He is now 30 years of age, which um, is adorable. And that's him in his police outfit. Man, I... Gucci and is a police officer. I find that unreal that he's actually a police officer. So that's what he's doing now, fair play. The last person in this video is going to be Momo FIFA HD. Now, this is kind of a cheat because he's, he's not actually disappeared because he still uploads... Very, very, very regularly on YouTube to this day. With 1.41 million subscribers, of course, you most definitely know if it's for his FIFA coin intros that he was well known for, if it was for his videos with like Rod Shaw and all that kind of stuff. He banged like a lot of videos. I don't know why, but he also banged videos called Muslim versus Christian team. I don't know how he got away with that, but he did. He's got several, like multiple videos with a million plus views. The only issue is, is that he actually uploads like every day to his channel still now. And you can tell by the views. Now, of course, like, I'm not exactly banging much myself. So, so I completely feel for Momo FIFA that, like, sometimes, like, you just are not getting that love from YouTube. In terms of the algorithm, sometimes, you feel like you're just not getting that much luck. Momo FIFA HD with a 1.41 million subscribers YouTube channel did a video 14 hours ago, and it's got 987 views. I feel bad. I feel bad. And I feel like he's going to watch this video. And, like, honestly, man, like, it sucks, man. And I feel like I've got respect for him in a way just for keep on trying, keep on going for it. If he does, that makes some sense. If you want go. Yeah. I think that's the exact same coin sponsor that he's had for the last, like, six years. My only guess is that he still gets paid quite a lot from his coin sponsor. That's why he still uploads so often per month, even without the views. Even though he does have FIFA videos, he has done a lot of music as well. If you look into my songs, he's done a bunch of songs in the last couple of years. Looking at his Instagram, he still looks like he's living a decent 
of life still to this day. He must have made a lot of money, so I presume that he's used that money quite well. I know that he does a lot of work for people over in Togo, of course, in Momo from Togo. I do know that he does a lot of good work over there, and he helps out his family, and he helps out people in his community, which I find out really cool. So there you go, boys. That is a variety of FIFA YouTubers that you guys may no longer see anymore. That is what's happening right now. There is a lot of others that I could also go into, um, like Adriano is probably a popular one. I've actually done a full video on him, so go check that out if you're interested about what's happened to him. There's so many people that was back in like these scenes back in the day that I could do a video on that have kind of just gone off or doing different things on YouTube or just completely just disappeared off face of the earth. Tell me down below who I missed out and I'll see you guys next time for another video tomorrow and I hope you guys did enjoy. Peace out.